Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm KRX and we're going to be looking at the alignment tools for Move It 2.4. Now when we did our advanced feature tutorial, we were not able to go into this menu and hit these buttons. We we're getting some weird, uh, weird effects and stuff. So we're going to take a look at all this stuff now that it has been fixed. And the very bottom one here is the basic alignment tool, the align heights. And that is something we did demonstrate previously. So we can use Mark A here to grab a bunch of different nodes. And we can align all of those together with some other point that we select that is either selected within the group or not selected within the group does not matter so we can align it all to up here oops line it all the right there or we could grab something that's in the grouping click that and then click see we're highlighting this white that's how it's supposed to be when you click on this button then when you go into the into the world space things should be white when you're when you're overlapping it and that means that you're sort of ready to activate the alignment tool itself and we can grab buildings too right like we can we can mix and match nodes with buildings and and do all sorts of stuff and, and whatever we need to align we can we can do that as long as it's an object that can be moved up and down right you can't align a tree for example just because a tree cannot be moved with page up and page down so trees are just kind of doing the tree thing also remember that you can grab and create your own groups by holding shift so we can grab our own little custom groups by just holding shift and clicking on a variety of items going over here to align and then we can align all of those independent of everything else if we need a custom group we can make our own grouping rather than just using the big box select it works with the marquee tool though too you can you can align you can grab things in segments and so on and so forth and remember control z right control z is how i am doing that undo control z is the undo feature we talked about that in the previous uh, tutorial as well so moving along though we can grab this here and the next going from the bottom to the top which i think for the most part is is most used feature here probably least used feature as we work up uh up the way here um but most used feature here is the align height then we have sort of the sort of immediately aligned to terrain height or snap to ground kind of right but if we click that, these areas are now snapping to the ground. Actually, why is it? It's the pillars are acting a little bit funny, but we can grab those and um, grab just the nodes and that'll force the pillars to follow the nodes. And then that'll snap it all down to the ground, which is kind of neat. And in fact, we don't even have to grab everything along the road, right? We could just snap these segments to the ground. That looks kind of goofy, but there you have it. Now, moving along from this point, we can actually align. Let's say we want to align all of this as a slope again. But this time this has now been snapped to the ground so it's going to be a little bit of a different slope than what we had originally we click on the align slope and we click a and then b and that creates now a slope between those two points in fact we don't have to even click the end points we can click any of these points we could hit a and b and that'll kick these way up right so just basically you know taking taking the slope that's here and expanding it to all the other nodes that are indeed selected in fact, you can get some pretty crazy results here. A, B, boom. Now we have this crazy thing where it's going deep into the earth. But there you go. We pretty much have a relatively straight slope there, which is pretty neat. So that is the slope tool, which is actually incredibly useful. In fact, just another little demonstration of that here. We can go A, B, and now we have a perfect little slope there where we had more of a step before. Moving along, we have the sort of these are the rotation based tools i don't use these very often but i can see how they're quite helpful uh in a very basic sense right we can grab onto buildings or objects or props and things we can grab onto these things here and we can align all of these we can twist these buildings around to face the same direction as the one that we click on so if we click on one of these here these are all facing downwards so if we click on these all of these buildings will be turned to face downwards except the ones that are already facing downwards right so we can hit Control z to undo that um if we wanted to, we can actually, there's a little circle here. Whenever we grab things with the Marque tool, more than one object, we get this little circle here. And if we click on the next one, align as group, this will actually rotate the items around. So it'll move their location, but it'll rotate them so that they're aligned with the item that we select. So if we select something like this, it'll rotate them around. It'll kind of flip them around up into here. You can see, or it's actually easier to see if we could do it just a 90 degree turn. If we click on this. We can see that they've rotated. These things have rotated. Now, if I control Z, it's going to rotate back. It's going to rotate back. And that's kind of interesting. 
kind of very specific, but there might be a situation where you'd like to use that. Finally, this one's pretty, pretty cool, actually. See, when you put down rocks, they're always facing the same direction. They're always in the same alignment, and it's kind of, it's kind of unnatural. And a really fast way to do this, instead of individually twisting each one, is to actually come in here and hit the immediately rotate valid items randomly. And we could just twist these around randomly, which is really, really cool. And if we wanted them to be perfectly aligned, we could go align in place, and we could just align them all to a specific one. And then we can just continue to rotate them randomly. And, you know, that works on buildings too, even though, of course, buildings need roads and things like that. And this gets a little bit silly, but there you have it. Control Z to kind of undo all of that. And there you go. And that is the advanced features for the Move It mod um, and the alignment tools specifically, right? So now we've covered all of this other stuff. We've now covered the alignment tools. If you have additional questions, please leave them in the comments. We'll get all those answered. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episodes.